the warm effect of sun rays come through with this full of life and joyous elixir. This aromatic fougere is a stunning groundbreaking composition that will definitely keep you coming back for more. Sunshine Man is next. Hey fragrance family, this is Max Fort here to bring you another review, this time from the House of Amouage. We're going to cover the beautiful and very talked about Sunshine Men. So, starting with the background of the company, uh, please refer to the recently uh, great, uh, please refer to my recent uh, Good, Bad, Ugly, Underrated, Overrated from the House of Amouage, where I cover the whole house, but I'll give you the shorter version now. It's a house from Oman, the Middle East, that started back in 1983 and released its first composition called Amouage, later known as Amouage Gold. Currently this house have uh, 69 offerings including men and women's fragrances. Uh, very chic, elegant, and they utilize um, the use of frankincense or silver frankincense as their main uh, chord or note in their fragrances and then they, they embellish their fragrances around that frankincense. And they use, you know, oud and other spices and, um, you know, certain compositions are made from notes and accords from those regions of the Middle East. All right, the presentation on this one is just dazzling. It's stunning from the box to the bottle to the cap. You know, what more can you ask for? This is just, you know, as good as they come. I mean, the box itself is almost like a leather-like feel, really sturdy, really strong. The sun is right there, you know, the sun, the sunshine, the sun, you know, um, is, is beautifully um, shiny, really in the box, really made, really well made. Um, you have sunshine right there, and it says uh, the Midnight Flower Collection. Back here, you have some more information about the company, Amouage Sunshine, Eau de Parfum. Your batch code is etched right here, and then Made in Oman. You know, it's Arabic right there. All that good stuff. Your barcode is right here. As you open this stunning case, you're left with this beautiful uh, presentation that's just to die for. The inside is very, you know, fluffy, very, you know, cushiony. And this beautiful cushion here where the, where the fragrance sits perfectly is just anatomically correct to the bottle and it's again very cushiony very nice very beautiful elegant and just one of the best presentations I've ever seen the bottle itself is a work of, a work of art in itself the bottles from the house of homage are great on, on themselves but this one here they did it again the Sun here you know that the logo here is you know it's embellished by the Sun in the background this is like a metal you know in there it's like a white Instead of the usual silver or gold, Amouage is right there. You have your batch coat at the bottom. Nothing in the back. The cap is magnetic. You have your Amouage crown right there. There's nothing here at the bottom. The jewel this time is like a golden or yellowish. Um, the sprayer is gold as well. You have sunshine right there. And the sprayer is just unbelievable. I'm going to show you guys right now. Just great. And obviously, magnetic cap. Now... There is a there isn't a non-magnetic cap as this is just released. So this is what you're gonna get, guys. This is the uh, the version that's available right now to the public. It was just released in 2015. And this was the presentation. Let's get into the price point bottle sizes. This is offered in one size only, 100 ml for 395 USD. This is found in websites like Lucky Sand, for example. And I think this will be offered uh, at a discount rate probably within the next year or so. I don't think this one will be heavily discounted just because of the way this is really uh, being searched for and, and sought for. Uh, I think it'll be discounted. You know, I think you'll get it for less than $3.95. But, you know, this will be somewhat like Beloved Man, which you can find Beloved Man at uh, Fragrance Snap, for example. And it's still $239.99. So it's still $240. I think this one's going to hold itself in that vicinity, you know, not as high as 395, but I don't think it's going to be in the in the hundreds. I think it's always going to be 200 plus. I really do. The overall release and perfumer behind it. This was released in 2015 by Amouage, and the nose and inspiration and creative director is Christopher Chong, and uh, he put this together along with two great noses, Pierre Negrin and Fabrice Pellegrin. Um, and I have their pictures for you right now. 
Uh, Pellegrin has worked with many renowned houses such as by Killian, Parfums and Marley, and Diptych, um, just to name a couple, guys. Negrin uh, has done many remarkable and expensive Impressive composition, composition over the, the decades, uh, such as Interlude Man by Amouage, most of the Eminer Gildo uh, Zegna private blend offerings, and Ralph Lauren's Polo Black, just to name a few. Uh, the application, the best time to wear this one. Okay, this one here, again, I just blasted my arm when I was showing you this prayer. Uh, this here is a true jack of all trades. This is a great one to have in your wardrobe, in your arsenal. Uh, this one can be worn in cooler days, just like now, fall and winter, and warmer days, uh, spring and summer. This is great and very well suited for all occasions. Dress up, dress down, very versatile. As far as sprays, I would do two to four. Uh, be careful with the trigger. This one is nuclear, guys. This is powerful stuff. This is going to last, I mean, the initial blast right now, the whole room smells like it. This thing just takes over. It's beastly. It's um, pungent, very strong. It's going to punch you in the nose. Don't go crazy. I would do two to four max. Okay, guys? No pun intended. Ages, I think this is definitely more mature. Uh, I think the individual that was that was is going to really appreciate this, the complexity of this scent and how it transitions and everything. I think it's obviously, uh, obviously, you know, talked about the, the price point here. Obviously, more mature person who can afford the price tag. But nevertheless, the composition itself, I think it'll be more appreciated by somebody who's, I think, 25 and up that have had you know, quite an extensive, um, you know, um, offerings and compositions, you know, they expose their noses to various different uh, classifications and different, you know, fragrances to be able to really appreciate this fragrance. Uh, so I'd say mature guys, you know, late college and up, okay? Classification, aromatic fougere, note breakdown, you get brandy, uh, orange, lavender, and immortella top, the mid notes, bergamot, clary sage, and juniper berries. The base, you're going to get cedar, vanilla, and tonka beans. Now, when you look at the notes, you know, nothing really crazy pumping at you or, or nothing really crazy popping at you or giving you, you know, a thought of this being, you know, so unique and so great. But I'm telling you, the way this is blended, the way that they, you know, distributed the notes and the way they put this, the, this fragrance together is just unbelievable. Um, it's very unique, guys. You know, the beginning... Let me get into the summary of the scent right now so we can talk about that. If you like lavender, then this one is for you, guys. Uh, if you don't like lavender, look elsewhere. But, again, pay attention to this. The blast of luminous lavender that you get, it's like, you know, a scent from heaven. This is a fragrance that is all about lavender. However, it does transition, okay? Sunshine Man will open with this strong, boozy, sweet um, lavender laced up with juniper and lavender that can be quite off-putting for some but if you wait a few minutes i'd say you know 10 to 15 minutes at least 15 to 20 minutes really as this crazy blast starts to, to die down a little bit this thing is going to give you a real nice embellished uh, scent that is that has a swift vanilla and orange brandy boozy like feel that comes to play soon after this initial blast you get a vibe of um poor de cajon but much richer, much more regal, much more royal, much, you know, better, more harmonious. Just take it to the next level. You know, as sunshine moves to the heart of the fragrance, you know, Tonka starts to flood the scene. You know, you get this, this lavender that pulls back a little bit. Now it's, it's taking a back seat to the background of the, com of the composition. Uh, the powdery, soury, uh, yellowy snip snippets of the flowery immortelle starts to twist and roll around. You know, and the Tonka sweetness is, is, is there, but it's not really overbearing. You're going to get whips of milky, soft, almost tobacco-like um, nuances with this fragrance. The dry down is a continuation of the heart, surrounded by the tonka, which is now more pro prominent, with the sweet lavender combo in the background. The juice is just amazing. It's, it's an extract uh, of, of, of kings, guys. Uh, the level of concentration here is just amazing. This stays on forever. The silage, longevity... So yeah, this stays on forever. Uh, you know, the, the silage, longevity, projection, you know, the performance is amazing. Uh, it's, it's nuclear, guys. Go easy on the trigger, you're going to choke people around you and yourself. Uh, huge thumbs up for, for Image. Uh, they did it again, guys. This is a masterpiece. Uh, sun, sunshine is that good, guys. Um, the smell is full of life, full of happiness. Uh, one of the most uh, pleasurable aromas I've ever smelled. It's just very exquisite and very unique. Uh, final thoughts, guys. Sunshine Man achieves an ideal balance, spectacular sense that take it to the next level. This one does it. Um, 
This one works in a cool weather, on a hot summer day. Uh, if you want to warm it up, cool it down, this has it all, guys. This is a jack of all trades. It's a masterfully uh, put together fragrance. Another triumph from the house of Amouage and creative director Christopher Chung. Uh, Sunshine Man is versatile, as versatile as they come. This is a great addition to your wardrobe fragrances and your arsenal. Definitely want to, to, to have it. You know, the result is just amazing. It's this joyful, modern fougere. Uh, you know, just to, to sum it up, this one is one of the most interesting olfactory statements of the 21st century, guys. Uh, this, is, uh, this, is, this one is here to stay. Uh, let's get into the, uh, the final rating to wrap this up. Presentation, this is 5 out of 5. I'm speechless. This is as good as they come. You know, what you come to expect when, you, when you're spending this kind of money. Scent, 5 out of 5. Just spectacular, amazing scent. Um, projection, again, 5 out of 5. This is beast. You know, be careful. You're going to choke yourself and, and, and uh, people around you. You know, 2 to 3 max, guys. You know, 4 maybe if it's really, really cold out. You know, if it's a warmer day, 2 sprays in your set. Um, longevity, five guys. This one I got 14 plus hours. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I actually showered the other day and I could still smell it on my wrists. You know, this is how crazy this is. Uh, versatility, you know, five. This is all seasons. This is as versatile as they come. You know, great for any season, any satin dress up, dress down. Just, you know, you name it, you could do it with this fragrance. Um, Uniqueness 5, there's nothing like this out there. This is as unique as you're going to find right now. So this is definitely groundbreaking. Kudos to uh, to Amouage for putting this together. Just, you know, going the other way. Taking a step uh, towards a direction that no one's doing. A lot of people copying each other out there. Taking, you know, nuances here and chords there and notes there. And just, you know, uh, umping, uh, you know uh, upping them up or, you know, making them a little less predominant. Just to, to change things around a bit. But essentially, there's a lot of, you know... I like fragrances out there, and, and this is just the opposite. This is going towards a totally different direction, and you have to applaud Amouage for this. Uh, comfort factor, I got a three and a half. This is where it loses little points. And not, not as great as I thought it would be, but um, you know, I've, I've been wearing this for just about a week and a half now, so um, you know, not too bad. You know, I I think the dry down is where I get the most confidence. Believe it or not, you know, the first is the first blast is really pungent. You know the first hour or so, but then when it starts to, to calm down a little bit, as, as I described to you the the summary of the scent, I think that you know after the first hour you start to get more notice, you know, in a positive way. So it could be a little bit off-putting for some people in the beginning. So be careful. Maybe spray this at home. You know, when you're going to work, and and by the time you get there, it should be okay. Um, but overall, on final rate, guys, I'm giving this a five out of five. It's a masterpiece in my book. This is heavenly. This is like the elixir of, of kings and gods. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this fragrance. Uh, from, from my nose, you know, the final rating is five stars. You know, thank you so much, Amouage, for putting this together. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have put your nose on this fragrance. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions about this masterpiece. Maybe it's not a masterpiece for you, but I'd love to hear it anyway. Please drop your comments down below. Stay tuned for a lot more, guys. This was Max Forte with Amouage's Sunshine Man. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.